Good evening and we're back for the code labs. So basically this is the laboratory exercise or code labs for while loop. So we only have two for your assignment and then we're going to have the third code lab during our class next week. It will be a seat work so better watch out. Better not cry. Better not pang I'm telling you why. Sir Azur is coming to town. Okay? So, by the way, this video is sponsored by Made and Baked by Pao. So, follow us on Facebook and order now. Stay safe. Uh, kaya namin mag-deliver sa mga bahay-bahay nyo. Wow! Talaga naman. Anyway, so this is our two problem. Number one, even odd number sorted. So, basically, you are responsible or let's say sorting up there you have it much better perhaps you are responsible for writing a program that sorts a list of comma separated numbers as either even or odd upon sorting the numbers into two groups your program will then sort each group numerically and display the results so for you to better to have a better understanding we are going to run the program Okay, so since this is a video, I've tried not uh, my best so that you will not see how the program works. Okay, <laughs> so enter in strings na of numbers separated by comma. So we are to enter our o our numbers uh, in a string format separated by comma. So for example, we have. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Let's say one, uh, sorry, one fifty two, comma forty five, comma sixty seven, comma. Then perhaps I'll put some space so that you can see that uh, whether there is a space in between and there is no space, that's fine. 98 comma space 54 comma space uh -huh. 88 comma space 81 comma space 93 comma uh, 17 perhaps that's it then enter so would you like uh let's read the report result summary one is add 52 is even, 45 is odd, 67 is odd, and so on and so forth. Then we have the following four numbers are even. So based from this result summary, the even numbers are 52, 98, 54, and 88. So these are the numbers in ascending order. The six numbers are odd, ascending order again. And then, you are going to be asked to run, if you want to run the program again, uh, since we are using the while loop, so basically this is it. So, just for testing purposes, I'm going to run the program, and then I'm going to just simply put 1, 2, 3, 4, and then, as you can see, the following two numbers are even, 2 and 4, or result summary. Uh, the following two numbers are even, 2 and 4, the following two numbers are odd, 1 and 3. Then, I do not want to run the program again, so, no. And, there you have it. So, goodbye. So, basically, that's uh, the required output, or let's say that those are the sample uh, input combinations, and then, uh, the idea is that this should be the, design output, the desired output. So, this hopefully will serve as a guide in order for you to do the codes for the code lab one okay and for the code labs number two dun, 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 dun. prime number up you are responsible for writing a program that will either determine if a given number is prime or display all prime numbers within a given range of values so basically we have a menu uh, the user will ask will be asked what he wants to do let's say does he want to check whether a certain number is prime numbers or does the user want to give a range of numbers meaning we have a starting number we have an ending number 
and then the idea is that uh, you have to get all the numbers on those ranges or on those range which are prime numbers so you know the definition of a prime numbers right so basically that's it then your program will time the process and report how long the calculations took the user so again as what i have said in our lectures this is the time to introduce the time okay so we are going to compute or you are going to take note of how long the program took place before it can give you the output okay uh, it is important to time certain processes within our program so we can know how efficient our code is so basically this is how our program works so enter your choice one or two what's those one or two uh, the idea is that if you enter one uh, determine if a specific number is prime if you enter two determine all prime numbers within a certain range range so For example, I want to select 1. So, enter a number to determine if it is prime or not. Uh, for example, 11. Is 11 a prime number? Yes, because you can only have 11 if you multiply 1 and 11 and nothing else. So, we are expected to get an output of 11 is a prime. Then, would you like to run the program again? Of course, yes. I love the program. <laughs> doesn't uh that's the reason why i love to run it again <laughs> so enter one to determine if a specific number is prime enter two to determine all prime numbers within a set of range let's try again another one for example uh my numbers will be let's say 55 so 55 is not prime why oh my goodness why 55 is not prime uh we have five times 11 one times 55 am i right so there you go uh what else mm, perhaps since we have an output of one prime numbers and one that is not prime it's about time to select two okay so enter the lower bound of your range let's say the lower bound will be one the upper bound let's say will be 100 or let's say 500 calculations took a total of 0 0.0049 seconds the following numbers between 1 and 500 are prime press enter to continue so if i press enter all the numbers that are prime numbers between 1 and 500 will be displayed and it took the computer or it took my program to have an out uh, exactly 0 0.0049 seconds to give me an output there you go so all of these numbers are prime 2 3 5 7 11 13 and so on and so forth so these are all prime numbers okay would you like to run the program again yes of course two and then for example uh huh uh, i want some challenge <laughs> uh wait let's say my lower bound is one my upper bound is let's say uh, let's say 57,654 so 5 digits number uh, halfway between 100,000 if I press enter jan, jararan, jararan. so we'll have to wait for quite some time before it can calculate Ooh. Uh, on my demo run when I test my program uh, I've entered 75,613 and it took the computer or it took my program 66 seconds before it can output or it before it can give me an output of all the prime numbers so basically we are going to be here for quite some time so we can discuss something uh, i hope you are enjoying now because i am enjoying doing this exercise uh, again this video is brought to you by made and baked by pow so order now there you go Calculations took a total of 40.7053 seconds. So the following numbers between 1 and 57,654 are prime. So press enter to continue. If I press enter, then all the numbers between 1 up to 57,000 something will be displayed, which are, of course, all prime numbers. And then you will be asked, 
would you like to run the program again? No, I do not want. There you go. So you have now the sample. Ay! Output. And these are the two code lab exercises for this topic. So hopefully you have enjoyed our lecture. You have enjoyed our code labs. <laughs> so, saan mong tugunan? Sarasur, maawa ka. May code labs tayong dalawa na mahirap. O hindi, madali. Na medyo mahaba-haba ang pagbibigay ng runtime. Tugon. Sarasur, maawa ka. Hindi, kayang-kaya niyan guys. Just believe in yourself. Okay, so I'm going to delete my code. Uh huh. And then I'm going to save. And then I'm going to download this, and I'm going to send this one to our DC, so that you could have a guide. And basically, this is it. Deadline for this will be Tuesday. So Tuesday will be December 15, okay? So just to submit, simply click here, okay? So I guess if you have any questions, just proceed to our GC. For those of you who are not yet my students or who are not my students and simply want to have a challenge, if you have some questions, you simply put a comment on our YouTube channel. And then I guess if I have time, I will answer it. Okay, so goodbye guys. See you around until we meet again. Thank you for watching. And again, do not forget to hit the subscribe button and notification bell. Because I'm planning to do an overall lecture in Python from lecture 1 up to the last part of my lecture. So, planning to record video. Okay, so do not forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. Thank you guys. Bye-bye.